Are assassinations coming back? What are we looking forward to the most when it comes to the Halo Infinite flight? Is there gonna be any kind of connection when it comes to the campaign? And how about like machinima mode? Is that coming back? I'll answer that and a bit more within this video, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. So occasionally I like to go onto my community page here and ask you guys if you have any questions about Halo Infinite. As we are a news based channel, it's everything about Halo. I want to get a sense if you guys have any things you need to know when it comes to the game. So I went onto my community page and asked you guys if you have any questions about Halo Infinite as there's been a lot of information about the game that's come out recently. And a lot of you guys replied. Like within one day we had almost 100 comments and questions talking about Halo Infinite, so I want to discuss a few of these within this video. So if you like these kind of discussion videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as I ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. Master Rogue Assassin 161 asks, will assassinations return? This is something that I've actually been wondering about because assassinations are really awesome, right? We've had them since Halo Reach and pretty much like the cool flashy moves that you would probably expect to see within the multiplayer reveal. And we didn't see any of that at all. There was even a specific situation within the multiplayer reveal which screened the chance for an assassination and we just didn't see it. It was this section right here where you pull up the sweet no scope right there and right here, this is where you would totally expect an opportunity for the back smack to come in for the assassination move but we just did not see that within the multiplayer trailer. Like that's exactly when you would see like a really cool move happen and then stage it so to have this bank shot happen right here to get the awesome kill. And 343 hasn't stated if they are or are not going to be in the game. I really hope they are because obviously assassinations are just really freaking cool. It's kind of a way to put like a little like icing on the cake or like a cherry on the top kind of thing if you want to call it. Just like a pure like dominating move to really like embarrass somebody it really is gratifying to get those assassination kills. Halo 5 really even expanded on top of that, which gave us all these different kinds of customization. Really awesome animations as well for the various assassinations. And I was really hoping to see that again within Halo Infinite, but we haven't heard that they are, and we haven't heard that they are not going to be in the game either. Personally, I think it'd be an awesome opportunity for 343 for one to add more customization to the game. And then two, on top of that, I have an opportunity to monetize these things even more. Obviously something like an animation for an assassination would be something that people would really want to buy and pay money for. So I think if they don't have them in the game, it would be a huge missed opportunity for 343. Though, this is a 10 year plan with this game. Nothing is absolute with Halo Infinite. So could we see assassinations if they don't have them at launch be brought into the game later on? Definitely, I think it's certainly a possibility. We know that the code is there for 343 to make assassinations happen. They just need to do the animating to have the assassinations in the game in the first place. I'm sure this is something that we will all find out once we get a chance to play the Halo Insider flight, which is happening later this weekend. Talking about the flights, Super Hippo asks, what is the single thing you are most excited about doing in flight? See how XP works, customization, a new weapon, a certain map? That's actually kind of a tough question because to me it's like all in one essentially. Because I've tied in like gameplay, customization, ranking up, and things like that to be kind of just the entire Halo experience. But the thing I'm probably most looking forward to is just like the gameplay itself. Like how do the weapons feel? Personally, I would really like to see projectile precision weapons within the game. And what I mean by that is, so think of like Halo 4 and the Halo 2 anniversary. That battle rifle, it's a hit scan. Basically, you just see the person, you put them on your reticle, you shoot, the bullets will hit instantly. Compared to Halo 3, which has projectile precision weapons where essentially you have to lead your shots to make sure that they hit properly. Personally, that's something I would really want to see when it comes to like the battle rifle to make sure you have to lead your shots within the game because I feel like having the hit scan weaponry with like high aim assist and red reticle range and things like that, it really dumbs down the gameplay and the strafing ability within Halo where I feel like Halo 3 probably nailed it on the mark the best with the accuracy of the battle rifle while also being kind of inaccurate at range though at its close and medium range it does perform properly and if anything maybe a little too well and essentially i just kind of want to see like what the core mechanics are like the jumping the moving the strafing the way the weapons shoot and things like that that's kind of what i'm really looking forward to the most just the core gameplay elements because if the core of halo is good everything else around it can be 
okay at best but if the core gameplay itself is not going to be where i want it to be or where it should be when it comes to halo that's where the game is going to suffer most is how does the game feel in your hands when you're playing it because that's where we've been having some of the biggest issues with halo previously with halo 5 with the advanced movement and halo 4 with like the kill streaks perks and everything like that that's where like the core gameplay elements of just like how does the game play got really messed with and it's also with reach as well on top of that where halo infinite looks to be a game that kind of goes back to basics but also brings it to like a more modern era which has always been kind of conflicting philosophies when it comes to halo so i'd like to see how the game just overall plays that's what i'm looking forward to the most the prototype asks if you get an invite for the flight will you stream it here on youtube well i certainly will be streaming it but i will be streaming it on twitch I do have a Twitch channel, guys. The link is always been in the description down below. I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening. We will 100% We'll be streaming these flights the best I can. The hardest thing is, is that the weekend of the flights is the weekend is when I move into my house. And so my stream time might be pretty limited, if at all. But I will at least get like some form of gameplay for you guys to showcase and talk about everything there is when it comes to Halo Infinite. So on one side, I'm super excited to be moving into my first house. I'm also very saddened that it's conflicting with the flight schedule. Hopefully the flight process lasts longer than a weekend. My guess would probably be last for like at least a full week it's just horrible timing but yeah guys if you want to catch us on stream and get a chance to chat with me and the rest of the community come check us out over on twitch i do play games with viewers every night usually we load up to a big team battle lobby and just have some fun for the whole evening joel creaser asks will the campaign have any connections to the multiplayer for instance will there be campaign challenges and progression that has multiplayer rewards I expect so. I have a feeling this will be kind of channeled through events that we're going to be having within Halo Infinite because we do know that this is going to be a Master Chief focused story for the campaign, right? So there really isn't going to be much way to kind of customize your Spartan or do anything like that, which most of the stuff will be in the battle pass. Though I could totally see some form of a challenge being tied into playing some campaign element that could help you unlock something within the multiplayer side of things. That's certainly not uncommon that we've had for Halo. I mean, we had like the Hayabusa armor for halo 3 if you beat the game on legendary we had the helio skrill armor set in halo 5 that's if you beat all the mcc games on legendary as well so i totally expect to see something very similar within halo infinite but to what degree we don't really know we do know that you can earn this amazing yoroi armor set within the fractures event of halo infinite for the heroes of reach season one this armor set is not tied to the battle pass but tied to a specific event that you have to do within the game so i could totally see something like play some certain section of the game on legendary or maybe do some academy stuff get some sort of amount of kills or something like that within the multiplayer experience to get some kind of a quantitative value to have you unlock this armor core of the yoroi armor set and i do expect to see people who play campaign also make progression on their battle pass as well I have a very strong feeling that 343 is going to reward players for playing the game just in general, not just like what we've seen traditionally with Halo, where if you're playing match-made multiplayer games, that's when you like earn XP, that's when you'll get your unlocks, and all that other kind of stuff. I think with Halo Infinite, you're going to see a much more generalized way of earning XP, earning credits, unlocking things for your battle pass as well, because I think they're just going to be trying to reward you for just playing the game in general to boost up player numbers. Red Gilded Gamer asks, will Infinite have an advanced machinima control slash mode or AI in Forge? If you guys don't know what machinima mode is, it was introduced within Halo 5. This let you do this one thing where if in the middle of a custom game, if you press down a certain combination of buttons it would detach your camera to go into like a free roam kind of thing where you can actually like look at yourself and things like that really cool way to kind of get some really cool profile shots it was supposed to kind of help out content creators for machinima to kind of help create more content on the fly though i don't really know of many machinima creators that utilize this function i think it was more just kind of to pull off some kind of cool interesting shots that you want to do for that moment so instead of having to hop over the theater mode to capture the same thing you can just go into the castle game press down that combination of buttons and you can kind of do whatever you want so you can give live direction for people while they're doing some certain types of actions i hope to see that return because i think machinima is within halo is something that's really special within the halo community 
and just Halo just in general, that most games can't really pull off what Halo can when it, when it comes to Machinima. And I would love to see that community come back. When it comes to AI and Forge, I think this would almost have to absolutely happen. Now that we know that there's AI bots within the multiplayer side of things, why wouldn't there be like AI Covenant or Banished bad guys that you can have for Forge to kind of place them down to make up your own like miniature campaign mission or something like that? Obviously, Different characters within the Banish would require different types of AI functions, which does require a lot of work for something that might not be utilized a whole lot, but maybe it could, I don't know. But just seeing what Far Cry 5 did with their AIs and their map editor, I feel like 343 had to see that and go, okay, well, we need to step up our game for Halo Infinite's Forge. And from all the le recent leaks and rumors when it comes to Forge, this is sounding like to be the best Forge we've ever had, which is quite a huge feat to say because Halo 5's Forge was the best we've ever had. So if you guys like these videos, make sure to tap that like button. Check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos that we've been uploading daily about. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.